leading hematologist and oncologist from India, talks about his education and experience. He has experience working for 14 years in the United States. I did my residency and fellowship uh, in the in United States uh, in a hospital in New Jersey. I did my residency in internal medicine followed by three years of fellowship in hematology oncology and uh, during my fellowship period I uh, gained additional expertise in treatment of leukemias and, and bone marrow and stem cell transplantation. I was in US uh, for 14 years from uh, 1995 through 2009. Uh, during my fellowship days and uh, in immediate period after that, uh, I had several publications in the field of non-ablative uh, stem cell transplantation, uh, which is frequently referred to as mini transplantation. And uh, that field of uh, stem cell transplantation was evolving at that time. And uh, I was lucky to be in, in this hospital in New Jersey where we were uh, initially one of uh, you know, very few centers in the world at that time investigating the role of non-myeloablative stem cell transplant. Malignancies are treated by chemotherapy and uh, there are certain malignancies like leukemia, lymphoma, Hodgkin's disease, uh, disease like aplastic anemia which uh, many times cannot be cured by chemotherapy alone. Now, in such cases where diseases cannot be cured by chemotherapy alone or they come back after chemotherapy, then there is only one option left that is uh, uh, a stem cell transplantation. Uh, and uh, stem cell transplantations are you know, broadly of two types. In autologous stem cell transplant, uh, patients get their own stem cells back, uh, you know, after collection about a month earlier and uh, then they get high doses of chemotherapy, they get their own stem cells back, that is called autologous stem cell transplant. It is uh, safer to do, less complicated, uh, but at the same time uh, effective in diseases like lymphoma and Hodgkin's disease. In allogenic transplant, trans stem cell transplantation, uh, you need to get stem cells from a different individual. It is usually a sibling who is the donor because of the HLA matching required and uh, siblings can be a source of stem cells or bone marrow which is usually given again after uh, high doses of chemotherapy. In non myeloablative transplantation after lower doses of chemotherapy stem cells are given and uh, we depend on donor immune system to fight the disease uh, after transplantation. So stem cell transplantation is a key area in the treatment of hematologic malignancies. It, is, uh, it has been practiced for nearly 40 years uh, all over the world and uh, it is uh, uh, complicated, it is uh, pretty expensive because of prolonged hospitalization required, a lot of laboratory testing required, a lot of uh, antibiotics that are used which are pretty expensive many times because of risk for bacterial, fungal and viral infections. So uh, stem cell transplantation uh, is done at very few hospitals. It is because uh, the training programs are few, you know. You know one definite advantage of doing a trans stem cell transplantation in India is that it can be done at a fraction of the cost and uh, also in in the United States, uh, Europe, UK, Canada, you know Japan, uh, the cost of average stem cell transplantation can easily run into hundred thousand to you know quarter million dollars. Particularly the allogenic transplantation, which is more complicated. So there is a very high cost barrier. Medical Tourism Corporation facilitates affordable medical and dental treatment at world class international hospitals and clinics. Fill out the estimate request form on our site, medicaltourismco.com, for a free quote and more information.